The other day I was talking to one of the students on the campus and I said to him, if I were to say to you, Newman, what would that mean to you? And he thought for a minute and he said, well, let's see, Paul, Paul Newman. Well, in the next few minutes, you're going to see and hear something about Bethany Newman. And if you're wondering where that name Newman came from, let me just say that it's taken after that great scholar of the 19th century, Cardinal Newman. And if you were to go to any college or university and looked up the name Newman, it would refer to the Catholic community on the campus. But even perhaps better than that, translate that word Catholic meaning universal. And then you've got the picture for Bethany Newman because it refers to people, just a great group of people who are taking the opportunity to witness to the faith they believe in. Sometimes the gang just takes time out to meet each other. You know what I mean, saying hello and really meaning it. Maybe that's why we call it the experience. I think Newman has influenced my life greatly. Um, especially at one time in my sophomore year, I remember I had a very deep religious problem, and my religion has always played an important part in my life. And it was about the existence of God, and it was so important to get it settled. And Newman offered me an opportunity to go and speak to someone without being ashamed of having doubts. And uh, I finally got the problem solved. But I'll always remember this, and it was, I always, no matter what problem is on my mind, and it doesn't have to be just a religious problem, I always can feel free to go to my friends at Newman to talk about it and ask for their opinion. And especially with the experiences, I feel that now I can be more open with people, and I don't look at people with so much what they're wearing or what they look like. I, you know, I'll more look to what's inside them. You know, it's funny how we think of time. You know, wondering where we're going next. Maybe that's the trouble. We don't know where we're going because we've forgotten where we came from. So many times the college students will say to me, Father, what is Newman going to do? And to be perfectly honest, I always answer, gosh, I really don't know. I can tell you what they have done, but what they're going to do, well, that's another question. Because so many times that question is answered only because of the needs and the desires of a particular time. Let me give you an example. Just before the Christmas holidays, we were sitting around in the hive having some coffee and a Coke and, and munching on a hamburger, and we weren't uh, really dealing with too much business. And finally, someone said, what do you think about having a Christmas party? Well, everyone stopped and they said, that's a great idea. And I'll bet it wasn't more than 25 or 30 minutes later than they had the whole thing settled, where they were going to have it, who was going to bring the Christmas tree, who was going to bring the trimmings, and also who was going to be invited. And as is so typical of Newman, everyone was invited. Well, first off, I've been able to meet a lot of people on campus who I probably ordinarily wouldn't have been in contact with, you know, just through, you know, being connected with Newman. Um, yes, I think I'd encourage others to get involved in Newman. For one reason, it gives them an opportunity, like I said before, to um, meet other people. And it, many times we've had informal discussions amongst the groups. and. Um, We've been able to tie in not only moral issues, but um, maybe problems that are happening, you know, with, with people 
in just going to classes in, in everyday college life. The guys often ask, uh, what does Newman do? Well, it does really whatever we want it to. Personally, for me anyways, it emphasizes my associations with others in all areas. Well, for example, take sports and basketball in particular. The idea of sharing and cooperating, seeing the good in others and in ourselves too. Fellows described it quite accurately when he said that he thought the effects of Newman really have to do with what happens within each individual. In that way, it isn't shown within an experience or a party or something on the outside, but within each person it has a certain effect which carries into the rest of his life, but yet it's kind of hard to talk about. Newman a little different because of the situation I'm in. You know, Protestant in the midst of the community of Catholics. Because Newman is nationally, I guess, the Catholic community. And I'm not really part of that community. So I see it more as the Christian community. For myself, Newman is something besides a set structure. In addition to Mass, which I really like here on campus, it is something which I can participate in, something that gives my faith a little more meaning. Jesus came and stood in front of them. Peace be with you, he said. And when he said this, he showed him his hands and sighed. At the sight of the Lord, the disciples rejoiced. Peace be with you, he said again to them. As the Lord has sent me, so do I send you. After these he greeted them, saying, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you, give, if you forgive men's sins, they are forgiven. If you hold them, they are held fast. seen part of the story of Bethany Newman. It's not the whole story. What the future holds in store for Newman, well, only the future will be able to answer that question. But if the past is any indication of the future, I think it could all be summed up in this little statement, come on people now, smile on your brother, everybody get together, try to love one another. If you hear song we're singing, you will understand. You hold the key to love and 